Hello everybody, this is the Planes of Paper and I want to welcome you to FTL or as it's otherwise known, Faster Than Light a game about space now I've unlocked this ship you get that one at the beginning and the Zoltan Cruiser we're gonna play as um, the Cruiser because it's cool and I only just kind of unlocked it we are going to play on normal because I like normal. Um, what's our ship going to be called? Um, uh, what are we going to call it? Um, winner 9000. Okay, that's fine. Now, Faster Than Light is a game about managing a um, ship and basically the final aim is to get the information you carry to the Federation fleet um, while trying to run away from the rebels who don't want you to get the information which will destroy the rebels to the Federation fleet. That's pretty much all you need to know and uh, let's begin. I'll tell you about everything as we go along, as I use it. Ah, store, okay. Now, at a um, shop, you can sell your stuff and buy other stuff. So you can buy fuel, uh, missiles, and drone parts. We don't need any of that at the moment, so we are going to leave. Go to our next location. That is like the star map thing. Here we are. Okay, so we can trade two fuel for one drone part, and because we don't have any drones, we don't want drone parts. Currently we haven't done any combat, but we probably will do now. Yeah, here we go. So we can either leave the ship alone and not get any loot, or attack it and get loot, and I want loot. So I'm going to pause the game. This is what you normally do at the beginning of a battle. And you pick what weapons you want to power up. So we'll power down first aid and we'll power up our halberd beam. Now we want to take out their weapon room and their uh, like cockpit. Now if we take out their weapons room with our weapon, this weapon has a long beam like that because it is a laser weapon and it can attack multiple rooms. Okay, we're taking hits. Our overshield though took all the hits. It won't ever regenerate until we warp to the next area. Here we go. Now they're dead. Um, but it's very good at the beginning of a battle. Okay. What was that? We got a drone. Now as you see, one of their rockets or missiles hit our oxygen chamber, or like room. Now what's going to happen here is you can see it's being repaired by our crew member. Our oxygen level is also going down while we don't have um, power to it. Now it's powered up, should start going up again. Okay, there we go. So we'll power that down. I also didn't mention, these um, crew members are called uh, Zoltans. Um, and their ability is any room they're in, they provide it with one free power. So my shields has one free like yellow power and my weapons has one free power. Um, subsystems do not require power. So he's doing nothing. Um, yeah, and we got some scrap for beating them. So I think what we're going to do is upgrade part of our ship. Now, I think we want to upgrade... Um, what's a good thing to upgrade? We're going to upgrade our shields. Now, we can't actually put more power into them, because you have to have two upgrades per shield unit. I'll talk about that more later. Oh, yeah, that thing back there, that red, like, sphere, is the, like, rebel influence. Okay, this is a rebel forward scout. Now, they may try and warp away. So what we want to do is take out their shields and all of that. Their shields, their engine, and their weapons. They do have a one shield, though. So that means um, this normally does two damage per room. Their shield will negate one damage. So we'll do one damage to each room, as you see. We've taken out their weapons, though. That's very good. Now we want to take out their drones. You see that thing, like, buggering around our ship? Now if we can take out both of those... Um, here we go. 
Now they're trying to power up their FTL. This is an issue. So we want to power that down and power up Leto. Because Leto will charge a lot faster. If they get their FTL off. Um, it's basically their warp drive. And they will leave. We want to accept their surrender. Now the reason I'm doing that is because it said. Um, like FTL jump imminent. <clears throat> if they jump away the battle was for nothing. Which is not what we want. Now one of our crew has been damaged. We'll go heal him up. So we want to power that down, power that up. Everything looks to be on full. You're healed. It's fine. Everyone's fine. And we got some um, got some loot from that. Right, let's prepare to jump. So every battle you do, you don't necessarily have to kill them. You want to pick the most like tactical option. So if you're low on health, you want to let them surrender so you don't take any more hull damage. Okay, now we're near a star. This is an issue. Every once in a while, a solar flare will go off, and a bunch of our rooms will catch on fire and start burning our crew. Ah, uh, we don't have any power for some reason. Why is that powered all the way up? The heck? Oh, it was bugged. Okay. Um, now here, because of time constraint, what I want to do is fire at their shields. Try and take out their shields really quickly, then halberd them across to there. Okay, that was a good hit. We need to hit them again. Now the reason I want to finish this quickly is we will start being owned by the star. Uh, the solar flares will literally... All of our crew will die if we don't do this well. Okay, so here the flare's imminent. Flare's gone off. Okay. So, what I like to... I love the music in this game. I don't think you can really hear it, but I love the music. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> if I take all the oxygen away from this area, uh, the fire will go out. Okay, there we go. See, we've done a decent bit of damage. Because it's, like, partially damaged, that'll take longer for them to charge as well. Like their engine and stuff, their shields are back up. I think we should be alright there. That should take their shield out. Okay, they want to give us a bit of crap, and we're not going to accept that, because we want more loot. The flare has destroyed them, though, yeah. That was the best option there, because now we got a lot more from them. Now we want to get rid of vent that, like, quite quickly, and then warp away. That was a good battle. We didn't really use hull. Pay their toll or reject their reject their offer. Okay, they I think we're okay against these guys. So you can see how the layout of a ship can be like detrimental to it. Ours is a crappy layout because look, if they have a laser they can just take out these three rooms. But our overshield will block everything currently. A normal shield will not block missiles, but our overshield will block missiles. Which is incredibly useful, because what they can do is fire a missile, blow up our shields, and then kill us if we don't have the overshields. Yeah, look at that. Really useful. This is going to own them. They're powering up their FTL, but it's delayed because we've destroyed it. They're gone. And auto fire means we'll just attack there again. I think we've won this. Here we go, charging, and they're dead. That was a good fight. Now we want to upgrade that, and we want a bit more power. So now we can max our shields out. We do need one more power, though, so I'm hoping we'll find... I don't know if I have enough time. We have enough time. I think we have enough time. That's the other thing you have to keep an eye on. Okay, you arrive at a populated sector. A merchant is broadcasting a request for aid. We'll help him. Um, I need you to deliver this cargo. Okay. we got to hope it's close. Oh, God. I think we can make it. Oh, dear. I'm a bit worried. What the hell? They got past that energy shield. Okay. 
Because we have, like, advanced doors. Oh god, this is very bad. Uh, we'll send our men in there to get away. What I'm trying to do is cut their oxygen off so they just sort of die. Now, they're going to attack our shields. I don't really care about that. They're slowly dying. And if we turn off our oxygen... Oh, they are dead. They are dead. Those two are basically dead. Now, this is what I normally do. I just let them die. And then when these are repaired, I can just lock them in a room with no oxygen in. So here we go. There we go. Now they're locked in there and there's no oxygen. So they'll die. Yeah, there we go. Turn that back on. Our crew members, because they have a lovely ability. Oh, we've got, oh, we've got an additional troop. Now these guys are called um, mantises. And they are really, really good at combat. I like having... Actually, no, we'll have someone in the engine room. That would be nice. I'll uh, just check that that's the right way around. You are weapons? Yep, that's right. Get you to help repair, get you to help repair. Um, yeah, each crew... These guys have an ability to give more power to your ship. But they have less health. I think they do less damage. No, they don't. They just have less health. However, these guys, they're really good at combat, but they um, have half the repair speed. So each crew member has a different, they have different attributes. Now we need to get to the exit and we need to warp away before the rebel fleet can own us. That's not going to happen. Oh god. Oh god. Now, now we're in the rebel fleet area. Now we have to survive their ship. Because what is going to happen is that we do not have sufficient um, like weapons to take them out. So what I'm going to do is try and damage their weapons so they can't deal us as much damage. We need to charge the FTL and warp. Okay, their weapons are a bit damaged. So now they'll take a lot longer to charge. It means they can do us less damage. Come on, hit. Oh, this is good. Hope, I'm hoping our overshield will hold. Oh my god, we might actually destroy them. Fuck. Gotta take out their weapons there. Oh no, 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 no. We're gonna take hits next turn. If they've got missiles. Come on, fire. No, we're actually doing quite good. This is a big waste there. We'll fire one more. Turn that off. We're holding, it's holding. Get ready to warp. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Jump, next sector, uh, Zoltan. Now, I didn't have much time to show you that, but after each sector, when you hit the exit, you can warp to another sector. And we chose the Zoltan one, because it's quite friendly. And now we're exploring a new, oh. They say they're researching genetic distortion due to... Oh, okay. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, they're past our Zoltan energy shield. The fuck? Everyone, to the engine room. <laughs> Oxygen off. Halberd. Oh, fuck, we can't. Where's all our power? Ah, oh, for God's sake. We don't have enough power. We need one more power. Oh, this is painful. I think we want to try... Can that stretch? Oh, barely. Barely stretching. I think after this fight, I'm going to finish off the episode. It feels like a good time to do it. They're going to die. Hopefully. If they take out our doors, they're a bit fucked. Okay, now I need to re-enable that. Halberd Beam is doing damage. We've got a combat dude. We need oxygen badly. And I can't... There we go. Okay, Dolan. It's Borman who's our shield man, but that area is not safe. Fire! Their shields are down a bit. 
The shields are down. The moment we can fire that, the better. Come on, charge. Charge. Taking hits, there we go. Oh, they've been ruined. Let's take out their oxygen as well. Screw them. Borman, get back to shields, Dolan. You're on webs. Yep, it's all going good. And their ship is owned. Alright, let's go get some healing. Oh, we've got another drone as well. An anti-personnel drone. Now, I'm going to sell them. Because they're... They require two power. They'll keep the enemy crew down. I also need the drone module. And two power is a lot. We need another power as well, just so we don't get owned again. Dolan get in there, Borman get in there, Dengler, and Maria. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode of FTL, and I will see you guys in the next episode, which I'm recording now anyway. Bye.